often understated because maybe it really decreases the amount of times that you maybe need to win neutral. Right. And here's the other thing that, like, most characters that are heavy struggle with neutral, but Snake wins neutral with grenades. He doesn't have to commit to anything, you know? He, he can't get comboed unless if it's, like, a true combo because he has frame one grenades. So and his normals are good, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like his normals are, like, okay. It's up tilt that's amazing. Yeah. Like, four tilt and, like, four tilt's a good whiff punish. No, down tilt's a good poke. It's, it's, it's an okay poke. Jabs are, like, eh. You know, but up tilt, up tilt is like one of the best up tilts in the game. So right away, <laughs> I'm already noticing uh, AC is much better at setting up these traps, using these grenades, using the C4 than our, our previous snake that we saw play against Razo. Oh. And it just looks like it's a battle. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, it's not Pokemon Stadium, it's Battlefield because there's explosions going off everywhere. I mean, you just see every time that Razo has a chance, or, Razo, or uh, AC has a chance, he's pulling out a grenade. He's trying to set up his minefield. You know, he's trying to position Razo into a situation that he can really capitalize on. Ooh, gets the grab, and here he is off stage. <laughs> the umbrella poking a little bit, yeah. maybe uh, surprising AC just a little bit, um, messing up his flow there. Right. And I love that. You no, know, Rosal's just like, okay, I'm gonna go in for the punch, and AC is just like, haha, I knew you were gonna do that. And then he set up the grenade on the platform, and Rosal forgot about that. You know? Yeah, I mean, these projectiles are pretty small. I think that's another thing that people underestimate about Snake. I love that. You know, AC is just like, look at me, I'm recovering. Hi, are you gonna? How are you gonna punish this? And then Rosal's just like, oh wait, I forgot that there's an explosion right above my head that hits yeah. below the the platform. You know. It's a good sense of uh, magician's misdirection, you know? Yes. Yes. And that's what I was trying to say. These, these grenades, this, the C4 is small, and it's easy to lose focus of them when you're, when you're fo playing neutral and you're, you're, you're trying to find openings in your opponent's defense. Right. And yet again, now here we are back to the neutral of just chucking grenades to see what lands and what sticks. And you know what? Any other character would have eaten 60% off of that one grab. Snake is just like, I'll eat 10% and give and you 10%. Take, you, t you take damage too, yeah. yeah. And we'll call it even. How about that? <laughs> yeah, this character is very strong. Um, I mean, that only worked because he already had the grenade in hand. But um, I think Razo could have held off and waited for the grenade to explode and then potentially gotten a different combo out of it. I feel like he tried to, but you know, he, he was at such low percent that he didn't want him to mash out. Yeah. That's true. And there's and the, the stitch, stitch coming in. Yet again, the great equalizer, RNG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, all of our heroes, I think, are out at this point. But there's still Peach, there's still Luigi. Oh, yeah. We still got a little bit of that Dude. spicy RNG. Dude, literally, I just saw a video where it's like top 10 RNG moments, and it was literally nothing but Game & Watch, Luigi, Game & Watch 9, Luigi misfires, and then uh, Peach, like, turn it pulls. Well, they're the only um, ways that, that, I guess, the only characters that have that sort of I mean, randomness. I, uh, Maybe a Villager with the turnups, but that's not as hype. I mean, like, it, w it wasn't just that, but it was basically, like, the same combos, just, like, like you know what was going to happen even yeah. without, like, seeing it, yeah. you know? That's true. And I love that, you know, spacing the narrow out, thinking that he could grab it, and up tilting him for when he whipped the grab. That was really good things on AC to just microspace that perfectly. Yeah, another thing uh, that we, we saw a little bit in the other game, but not so much in this one, is that Snake's duck is really good. Like, he can duck under a lot of what Peach wants to do. Um, maybe that's not as strong in, in this matchup, but uh, he definitely has that ability uh, to beat out moves by just going under them and then following with an up tilt, and then you're dead. And I love that, using the grenade to cover his landing option and okay. his get-up option. Very though, so. risky by, by Razo just kind of hovering out in front of uh, Snake could have been up tilted there, but uh, Snake is. Um, I mean, she, Razo wasn't at kill percent yet, Ooh. so 
I love what AC was trying to go for there. You know, he almost got the combo, but not quite. And I love the B reverse to just change up his momentum. But is the grenade going to be enough? No, grenade won't kill. Boom, he just almost dies in the Peach, explosion. Though. Yeah. Ralza forgot about that one C4. You know what? That really took him off surprise. And he just ran to his own grenade. Yep, but it, I mean, yeah. he's, he's snake, so he's living. He's at oh, yeah. 201%. Oh my god, like oh, this character is dude, very one heavy. up tilt is all he needs to it, just it take is. this game. It is. He's at full rage. Oh, he yeah. went for up smash there. Interesting. Oh no, that's good. Oh, Wait, yeah, she you... had the grenade in hand, so she couldn't grab him. Oh no. No, that's unfortunate. And that other grab he missed because his oh, hitbox no. was lower there. And yeah. they're finishing it out. Yep. Okay. You know what? AC almost brought that game back. It was so close. But you know what? Just that one whiff up tilt, it was enough for. Rosso to just come in and sneak an air in and take the game. Yeah, we'll see. I think the grenades, again, uh, are definitely a better projectile than Peach's turnups. Oh, yeah. And so uh, AC just uses them so well, setting up all these traps. We haven't seen. Too many Nikita edge guards. Yeah, I though, mean, it's because I'm you sure can't really use it against Peach, just because you can uh, Peach Bomber it. Oh, she can. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. We've, we've seen him use it a little bit, maybe to cover some space. I think yeah. it's not always a great option because it, it takes a lot of time to get up and you can kind of lose a lot of space against it. Um, <laughs> double grenade, double yeah. explosion. Yet again, Peach is struggling to find her way in against the snake. Yeah, and we saw some of those ducks that I was talking about earlier, just uh, uh, AC using them to get in. And he's going to get punished for the grenade. He should have just waited and then used the grab armor to get through it. But oh, yeah, of course. When you're moving at this speed, uh, it's sometimes hard to slow down. All right. Oh, and we got a dot eyes coming out. Another dot eyes. And yet again, here we go again, all these grenades popping up. And you know what? You see Peach trying to counteract it with her own projectiles, and it, it's kind of working, but you know what? It's not going to kill, and it's not going to do enough damage where it'll make enough of a difference. So Peach is eventually going to have to commit to something. And you see AC just waiting back, sitting impatiently just for that one whiff opportunity that he can get to really capitalize and get that like one grab or one, one up tilt to finish off the stock. OK, yeah. AC has been off and go high a lot. It's just a lot safer and uh, Snake. I mean, just having tr has trouble chasing Snake or his landing. And you know what? That back throw, <laughs> she tried doing it in time, but that up smash is gonna, it's gonna come down and it's not enough time to shield it. Yeah. Yeah. So the stock trade right there. You can see a lot of that. Smash. Oh, again. and oh. okay, yeah. So he was able to get the, right. <laughs> the get the nair, but he could he had to stop because uh, he had that pulled out the grenade and picked up the, yeah he picked up the grenade during mid combo, so he had to throw it, and that just broke the combo. Yet again, yeah, the snake gets out of all the combos, even the peach ones. That's another thing you don't think about with with snake is just putting the grenades, you know, how he puts some grenades in 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 other characters' hands, so they they have to drop their combos. All right. Now, Peach is unique in that you can still, th uh, when you're floating, you can th still throw out aerials. Oh, wow. I love what he was trying to do there. He was baiting Peach to come out and attack him, and then he was going to punish the end lag on whatever move she was going to throw out. But you know what? He just barely didn't adjust the aim in time, so Peach was just nearly able to avoid it. Well, it looked like the, the dash attack connected with the Nikita and sort of canceled its ability to do any damage. Yet again, here's the turn to throw up, up throw, and yet again, no, it manages to follow up with a nice, clean conversion, even if he couldn't get the true combo that he was looking for. Nice use of the Nikita there. He's going for it again, but he's going to get punished this time. All right. Razo just dropping in and landing in there. Yet again, that yeah. B reverse neutral B just to shift up his momentum, change where he's going to land. Gets the parry, not going to be able to follow up with anything, and you know, how's he going to punish Peach? No, it's no. Snake at such a high percent, but it still feels like such a hill, hill to climb because Razo's got to clean up this stock, and then he's got to do 200% more damage to this character. Oh, yeah. And he's already, his percent is so valuable in this matchup. 
and that's still not gonna kill. He's at 222%. Right. And you know what? what? I think the grenade exploded, and he even AC wasn't expecting to get to blow up right in his face right there. But now this is where all the money marbles matter, you know? All the money marbles, yep. Yeah. Okay, so Razo able to get some good damage from that ledge trap, but he's still very far behind. Okay, nice. He gets a combo off of that grenade. Uh, let's see, so, oh, until I mean, just no, a Razo, little early. Yeah, Razo slowly but surely making this back, but no, he just has to avoid. Okay, Razo's doing oh. a great job around spacing around these up tilts. Oh, yeah. Because you know that one up tilt and he's done. That's right, yeah. Oh. So the one thing he's got to look out for. All right. But as his percent starts to climb, he needs to start looking out for other things too. Just these grenades, any one of them could lead to his own death. All right. And yet again, you know, as long as he stays back, stays patient, you know, all these grenades will eventually blow up in AC's face and I'll just do damage for him too. So yet again, can he just find this one kill before AC does? Uh, you know what? We have a Mr. Yeah, Saturn Mr. on Saturn, the right. Yeah. And just decides to get rid of it. This right. is a t too much of a stressful situation. No, he's got it back again. Oh, maybe he, he, he kind of. I think he tried to trick him there by. Uh, Mr. Saturn went off screen and he went out and grabbed it real quick. Oh no! Oh, he z dropped That was so sick. Yep. Oh, and the frying pan closes it out. Oh my God! You know, AC had that game. It was his game to win. But then that one Mr. Saturn was just like. You, you thought you forgot about me, but I'm like yeah, one of your grenades. I'm like one of your, yeah, I'm like one of your grenades or your C4. I just pop up when you don't expect it. 